time to move on from polymed. It's clear at this point that polymed is a failed project. The risks are numerous, but the risks to human health are significant and potentially devastating. The process leaches heavy metals like lead, mercury, and arsenic into the water and releases mercury emissions into the air. Why would we allow the world's most toxic industry to operate next to some of the world's cleanest water? The mine proposed near Hoyt Lakes, Minnesota. Uh, it would dig up about 950 acres of critical wetlands, mostly peatlands, in the 100-mile swamp uh, between Babbitt and Hoyt Lakes. A mine like this could be catastrophic. Catastrophic to our clean water, which we all depend on for everything. That clean water is us. We are made of that water. 11% of the world's fresh water is found in Lake Superior, and all of that is threatened by this copper sulfide mine. There's never been one of these mines in Minnesota before, and there's never been one anywhere that's been done without polluting. A bunch of permits have been sent back because we've had a very flawed process, and those permits are really pushed through against the objections of so many people, so many Minnesotans. This is 5,690 Minnesotans who want the governor to consider his approach to polymet, uh, and we would love to meet with him to talk more about some of the different approaches we could take as opposed to a sulfide. Thanks so much. We're very happy to pass this along to the office. We'll get right on it. All right, thank, thank you so much. You, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Is sulfide mining safe for our water and for our health? No! Is it time to move on from polymet? Yes! Yeah.